Hello everybody, this is your uh, friendly senior citizen here from Seaside, California. It's uh, Tuesday, 11 August, 2020. 10 o'clock in the morning my time. Okay, I got, uh, this is more stuff on this mail, U.S. Post Office mail stuff I'm doing. And um, I got a bunch of stuff to do. It's taking me a day or two to put it together and I'm going to be making three or four videos today. I got six of them up right now. So if you haven't seen the YouTube videos I'm doing, go visit them and uh, just get a heads up on what I'm trying to do here. And it's basically, it's just an old story about post office has been overcharging me and, and I, I keep trying to stop it and it keeps getting worse. Okay, so today what we're doing is, uh, right now what we're doing is I'm getting ready to mail out an order. I'm going to show you how it comes in. I'm going to show you how I put it together. We're going to do, in a, uh, we're going to do a gauge test, a thickness gauge test, including a thickness gauge test with a, uh, a template just like the one the post office uses and we're gonna use that one too um, so here we go okay I just got an order and this guy is uh, an order for a 34th division CDs and this is from James in st. Paul Minnesota and uh, what these are it's three CDs and they got PDF files on them and if you're ever looking to see what grandpa did in World War II you might find me on the internet because these CDs are full of um, um, division reports, uh, daily narratives, um, campaign histories, uh, division histories, and a bunch of other stuff. Um, so that's I've been doing this 15 years, all right? Got this down to the science. Uh, I, I uh, figured this out in order to, to mail this at the, at the cheapest uh, amount uh, of expense to the, to the buyer. I got this down to where this type of mailer is letter size. It's six by six, all right? It's less than three and a half ounces um, over over three and a half ounces it's, it's large envelope or parcel mail if it's more than six by six and one eighth then it's parcel mail if it's more than uh, uh, three and a half ounces parcel mail and if it's more than a quarter inch thick it's parcel mail okay so I've got it all down to where it's letter sized mail it doesn't it doesn't qualify to be parcel mail uh, also, one of the stipulations is that it, uh, if it's rigid, if it doesn't bend, right, it won't go through the conveyor belts, then it's parcel mail, with the exception of letter size mail. Mail classified as letter size 6x6, six six, less than a quarter inch thick, and less than 3.5 ounces, letter size mail. If it's rigid, you pay a surcharge of 15 cents. Okay. The actual price on this is uh, 85 cents, and with the 15 cent surcharge, the actual price on this is one dollar to mail this. Um, if they uh, charge postal rates, it's going to be four dollars um, postage, but it's not going to be four dollars to the buyer because lot, because in order to, to mail this as a parcel, as a letter as a letter size mail, I can go across the street and put it in the mailbox. But as parcel mail, I have to get in my car, drive to the post office, stand in line amid these COVID virus pandemic. And give them four dollars to mail this when I don't only cost a dollar. I'm not going to do that for free. All right, it's going to I'm going to add two bucks on for getting into my car and going down to the post office, standing in line to be mailed to, to be to be lied to. <clears throat> not that I need to make money on it. It's just that uh, it's an, it's an expense in, in mailing this to the post office. All right, and um, so from now on, I'm not going to mail these to the post office if I if they will not receive them at the proper postage and all they go through UPS and it's going to be twelve dollars. Um, I'm also doing uh, setting up for a digital download and uh, something I've been working on and now I'm putting more time into it right now this week and uh, we'll try to get that going on right now, you know, as soon as I can. So anyway, here we go. We got order going out to, again, James in St. Paul, Minnesota. This is your 34th Division CD set. And we're going to, I'm going to show everybody exactly how this goes out because people don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. And this is a CD mailer. Okay. In order to keep these things narrow, from the packing slip, all I do is I cut the sliver art up, uh, out of it that, that has uh, the buyer's name and some information so that he knows what this is about when he gets it, he can remember. Okay, so I open it. It goes right in there. All right. I close it. And I put the, the flap down. Okay. Now, what I've been doing is I'll put a piece of tape over this. Let's do that now. Because, uh, yeah, forget it. that's a bad piece of tape. Okay, because um, the post office likes to try to open these, you know, as they, get, they come back all damaged. 
right? And who knows what, what's going on, but these will come back, and you'll see it in the other videos. These will come back with these flaps all pulled up and ripped up like someone was trying to open it. So now I put a piece of tape over it before I send it. Okay, but this one's ready to go, okay? The, uh, the, the weight of this is, is 2 and 3 quarter, 2 and uh, 2.6 ounces, okay? I'm not going to prove that right now because it's not, it's not an issue, all right? But um, that's what it is. If uh, sometimes I send one CD and it makes it, you know, 1.8 ounces or something like that, I forget what it is. And, uh, oh, by the way, um, I told you if it's $4 if it goes parcel mail, I mail these to Europe. It's two dollars. I, I add. Uh, I, I I charge two dollars for postage. The actual postage is a dollar. I charge two, and that's for the mailer, and for the trouble I got dealing with the post office and the occasional lost or damaged one that they, you know, the money comes out of that. <clears throat> to send one of these to Europe, uh, with the with the as parcel mail is fifteen dollars. All right. So these people are being deprived of of uh, buying these simply because they're being overcharged. Okay. Who's going to pay fifteen dollars to mail something that they only paid twelve dollars for? That's what these sell for. No, fifteen dollars. Excuse me, uh, fifteen dollars for. This is stupid. Okay, so here we go. Um, now, do you remember the uh, the other gauge I made, where um, I was showing you that uh, that my CD mailers are the exact same construction as the priority mailer, and I cut this thing out of here like that, and I cut that out, and I made it. All right, because they're calling this cardboard. And I'm saying it's not cardboard, it's cardstock, just like uh, the post office uses. You know, this is cardboard. This is cardboard. We did this already. This is cardboard, people. All right. This is not cardboard. Okay, now check this out. I made a template, just like the post office uses. All right, you look in the video, and you'll see that uh, Pedro Flores, Postmaster, how you doing today, Pedro? Um, he's, he's, uh... Using this in the post office, he's, he's proven to me that my item, here we go, the one I just made, is more than a quarter inch thick. And he's got this template and he's flapping it around. He's, not, he's allowing the CD mailer to go sideways like this. And incidentally, this is a six and one eighth, exactly. And it's exactly, I tried to cut it as close as I could to be exactly a quarter inch. Here's the slip right here. There it is, quarter inch. Um, I'm going to measure the quarter inch. Look at that. See? Can you see that? Quarter inch. Anyway, back to this. So um, I made this because I'm gonna prove them wrong every time they open their mouths. Okay, quarter inch template just like Pedro Flores used. Oh my God, what happened there? Did anybody see that? Look, see, watch. Now you go back and watch the video where Pedro Flores is doing this, and he can't get it through. He's struggling. He's pushing like this. You, you can watch. He's got it bent like this, and he got it bent like this. It's in the video. He's struggling. He can't push it like he can't get it in. He's on the phone. I, it won't go in. I'm having to push it, and but he won't let go of it. He's he's grabbing it like this. He's grabbing. It. I can't push it in. He's talking to to uh, what's her name, Christine Veray, the post office manager, uh, business manager in San Jose, because she's the one that's supposed to be helping me on this. Because um, you know, I I have to go over the heads of the postmasters. To get a straight answer, and I, so I wound up talking to these people that are regional business managers, and so uh, she helped me before, and now she's telling she's on the phone with, with this guy Perez or Flores, the postman. She's saying it won't go in, it won't go in. I have to push it, I have to push it out, you know. Now watch, let's do it again. Everybody see this? Watch Pedro. Whoop! Did you see that liar, Pedro Flores? You're a liar. Watch. Whoop! All right. We're not going to do that again. All right. Um, I'm going to end this video with that. I had more on that, but I guess I'll do it later. And, oh, we're going to do, okay, we're going to do the, uh, well, that was a good one. Okay, we're going to do this again. Does everybody see this quarter inch? This is a one-inch micrometer. All right. That means that uh, once this dial goes around, that's exactly one inch right there. All right. If I put the roller up to it, you'll see. This is exactly one inch, all right, blah, 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 like that, you know. Okay, we don't have to be accurate on this. I'm just demonstrating that it's one inch. Okay, and so this is one quarter inch. 250 thousandths is one quarter inch, and that's on 250 thousandths. Can I see that? Can you see that? Okay, exactly. This is the CD I just made that's going out. 
that Pedro Flores is saying is over a quarter inch. Because he says so. Not because it measures that way. Let me check. Here we go. Not because it measures that way. It's because he says so. Okay. Pedro Flores, I'm calling you a liar. You need a post mask. You make $70,000 a year, bro. And you're lying. I hope you lose your job. Okay, this is going out. Um, here, look at this. I had this. Um, this is something I started with. Something I started doing 15, 20 years ago. I started doing World War II research on somebody in my family. That was um, a World War II hero. And I put up a website about it. And uh, started making, answering questions to people that were writing in about their division or their uncle or whatever it was in the, in the World War II. So I started burning all my files to CD and I put them on eBay to sell them because I just ran out of time answering questions. But I used to do a, uh, this is a light scribe CD media where you can, used to be able to laser etch them in a CD burner. And so this is my artwork and I uh, can no longer do that. Now they're just plain white. Uh, like I was showing you and I used to for uh, this is $15 for a set of three like I was showing and then for another $10 I put your uh, If you send me a picture of grandpa, I'll put them right on there and it becomes like a family heirloom Which I can't do that anymore because they don't make light strap CDs anymore. So that's out um, Okay, I'm gonna go on with uh Because this video is the last 11 minutes. So I'm gonna stop this video. And we're gonna we're gonna end it we'll go to the next one